Gusto mo bang malaman kung qualified ka pa mag-apply ng loan application? Dahil na kung nagbabalat ka mag-apply ng housing loan for the first time bago mo i-attempt mag-apply kahit pag-ibig loaning financing pa ito. O kaya naman gusto mo bang malaman kung pwede ka pa mag-apply ng isa pang loan application sa other loaning institutions? Nag-upload ako ng video to explain muna kung ano ang isa sa mga major or critical decision factor ng mga loan loaning institutions kung qualified ka pa mag-apply ng loan. So, I advise na i-check ang first video ko about that before mo panoorin ito. As of this recording, ang CIC o ang Credit Information Corporation ang nag-iisang Centralized Registry of Credit Data Bureau na may authority na mangolekta, pagsamahin, at nagbibigay ng credit information sa lahat ng financial institutions dito sa Pilipinas. And so far, ang CIC ay may apat na accredited na credit bureaus o special accessing entities na nagkocompute ng mga credit score dito sa Pilipinas. Isa dito ay ang TransUnion Philippines. So I wanna share you guys kung paano nga ba mag-request ng credit information mula sa TransUnion Philippines. Bear in mind that we need to prepare 200 peso sa pag-apply ng credit report sa kanila. What? Oh, gastos pa, Mark! <laughs> Back then, libre pa po mag-request ng ganito from them, pero dahil sa mataas na demand, ay nagkaroon na rin ng bayad to request for this kind of report. So it's up to you if you want to pay for this kind of amount just to find out your credit report containing your history and especially yung credit score mo. Which is ayan ang magiging measurement kung very low or very high risk kang maapubahan for your loan application. Before that, disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video from TransUnion PH and I'm not affiliated with the same euro. So let's begin. Step 1. Go to this link and download the latest updated application form and fill out all of the necessary bills. Step 2. Prepare two valid government issue IDs. Here are the list of valid IDs. Step 3. Take a clear photo of yourself holding two valid IDs or two separate selfies holding each of your IDs. Kindly make sure that your name or the IDs should be visible and readable enough. Before anything else, I'd appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share if you want to see me more make of this type of content. Step 4. Save the accomplished application form in a PDF or JPEG format. Sip it together with your two valid IDs and your selfies and make sure it is password protected. I'll leave a certain link in the description below for one of the applications I use to zip or compress my files. And the last step, step 5, send the zip file and write the password you set up in the email body and send it to inquiryph at transunion.com. Once you do this, wait a few days and you will be reached out by one of the representatives from TransUnion PH to support you in getting your credit report. Before they will work on this, they will send you a particular link for you to pay your 200 pesos online to proceed. And as per their advice, kindly settle your payment within 14 days to avoid cancellation of your credit report request. Once you have done this, kindly make sure you reply to them and attach your evidence indicating that you have paid your 200 pesos online. Then the fun part begins. The representative will begin screening and validating your application for any discrepancies or other auditing tasks or processes before matawagan kayo via Zoom call. Once na matawagan kayo at naposeso na, ma-receive nyo na ang latest credit report mo which from my experience it takes within a month for that to proceed. Dahil na rin nagkakaroon ng mga screening and validation and you will be surprised on how much data or how much they know you based from your credit report. At dito nyo malalaman ang ilang credit accounts din nyo at macha-check kung meron kayong naligtaan na outstanding balance or may late payment ka sa isa sa mga credit accounts mo. At makikita na rin natin ang credit score kung very low or very high risk profile na tayo to be approved by the financial institution kung saan nag-apply ka na ng loan. I'll upload a part 2 mini-series on what's my overall experience in coordinating with trans 
TransUnion PH. And that's it for now. I hope na may matutunan kayo dito for today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.